Hey there guys, WolfTM2008 here, and welcome to another XL how-to. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can work out percentages. I have five different examples, and I'm going to show you what each of them mean. I have the weekly cost of four shopping trips, and I want to reduce my expenditure by 25%. So I need to know what budget I have to play with. In order to do this, I need to right click on the column that I am using for the percentage and format the cells. In the number tab you will see the percentage option and you want to remove the decimal places then click OK. So let's say I want to reduce my shop by 25%. I click in 25, same for all of them. So now I need to work out how much I'm going to have to spend. We do this by taking the cost of the weekly shop and removing the 25%, which will give us the result of what we have to spend. In Excel terms, this is equals. B2, it's important you put the equals in by the way, otherwise it'll just be a series of formula and it won't do anything. So B2, I want to times this by what I have in my brackets, which is open bracket 1, which stands for 100%, take away C2, then close my brackets which says I have £18.75 to spend and I can work out my other costs as well by just simply clicking on the box until I've got this grey well this black solid cross left clicking and dragging down and then I've got my other amounts here now the same can be done for working out an increase in cost. The formula is the same, only slightly different. So again, put I equal sign and B2 times open the, bra open the bracket 1, this time instead of minus it's plus, then C2 and close the brackets and as you can see my cost has now increased to £31.25. So, again to work out the others, hover over the box until you get this solid black cross, drag down, and there are the other amounts. I have four computers, or four items, because I know one ninety nine is ridiculous for a computer, so I want to work out how much I have paid in tax. To do this I have put in the individual unit prices followed by the tax amount which in the UK is 20%. So in this box I need to type in equals B2 times by C2 so as you can see I have paid 40 pence of tax on this item now what I can do is hover on the box until I get the solid black plus and then drag down and you can see the amount VAT I've paid on each item. In this example I'm showing you the percentage that can be worked out using two amounts. So this are students grades and on an exam these are the possible marks that they can get so the full marks on a paper. 
these are the actual scores that they got to work out the percentage of questions they got right I can simply type in equals b2 divided by which is a forward slash c2 and I can see that the student got 86% of the paper right and these are the other results Now, there is another way that we can use this formula. This is to work out the price of a sale item. So, here I have four items and their sale prices, and they have had various percentages taken off them. I want to work out what the original price is. So, for this, I need to put in I2 divided by J2. So equals I2 divided by J2. And as you can see, the original price for this item would have been £5.32. And all of these items now show what the original price would have been before they had the percentage taken off them. In this last example, I'm going to be showing you the percentage difference from November sales to December sales. So, the formula I need to use for this is open bracket C2 take away B2 close bracket divided by B2 press enter but we need to remember, of course, to put in the equals. So there's a 7% difference here. So it's up by 7%, down by 14%, and up by 88%. My name is Wolf TM 2008 Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like these videos or want to receive other videos by me. Stay tuned, I will be making more Excel how-to videos and other tutorials in the near future. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You're waiting for the wolf howl and the copyright notice, but not this time. I have made myself a Facebook page, so it would mean a lot to me if you could go over to facebook.com and search for Wolf TM 2008 channel in the search bar and just like the page. Thank you very much guys. Now you're going to hear the wolf howl, okay? Bye bye.